All right, what is up, YouTube? Sports Vlog 98 here, and I'm back with another video today. So, I'm probably gonna let my New England Patriots um, inner fan out in this video, but that's basically what this video is about. So, uh, yesterday, I believe this was yesterday, anyway, Colin Coward was on his show on Fox Sports 1. Uh, saying that Tom Brady is essentially playing for his job this weekend against the Steelers. And, well, I'll get to my thoughts after, but I will play the audio clip for you. It is about two minutes long, so here it is. All I'm telling you is, if Brady throws up a clunker, it will be his third straight postseason clunker and Garoppolo is as good as football gives you as a known quantity at backup you're either getting Romo who Max has a year left or you're getting somebody you don't know anything about out of college and you're praying that he's good so I'm just telling you I know it's a hypothetical but if you look at Brady's last two starts Bill Belichick has, has never given us one moment that we think he deeply cares about his players. They're retail, baby. He gets rid of you a year early, not a year late. And if you think he's going to get held hostage by a situation, it's not going to happen. I mean, I, I, I would argue that Chandler Jones and Jamie Collins, their moves have hurt the defense, which I think this year is way, I don't care what the stats say, New England's defense way overvalued. It's not an elite defense. It's an elite statistical defense. Average pass rush. They don't take the ball away. So I'm just going to throw that out there. The end comes very quickly in pro sports. It, I mean, Brett Favre was still humming it in Green Bay. You just can't be paralyzed that Tom is going to go somewhere like a Houston with Bill O'Brien, and he's going to succeed for a couple of years. He won't dominate, but he'll win. Peyton Manning won. Brett Favre won. Joe Montana won. Brady would win for a couple of years. Don't get paralyzed by it. Just, just like I say, if you get a divorce, come to terms, she's going to marry another guy. He may be a bigger hunk, make more money and more popular. But if you love somebody, you're all in on Garoppolo, you're all in on your new wife or your new husband. You can't be paralyzed, they're going to have success beyond you. So I think it's very funny about this. I go into this weekend, and my takeaway is, are we paying attention to this thing in New England? We have the coach in league history who falls in love with no players, falls in like with all of them. We have a 39-year-old quarterback coming off back-to-back -back bad playoff games and has not shown an ability this year to beat a top team with a good quarterback. They're 0-1 on a team that's overvalued statistically because of the poor quarterbacks they've faced. Pittsburgh wins this game and Brady's average. You're darn right Kraft and Belichick are having that. Let's have lunch and, and talk. All I'm telling you... All right, so that's what... Colin Coward said. Um, oh boy, it makes me laugh. All right, that is the. I, I can, I guess, I understand the point he's trying to make, but that right there is just flat out ignorant. First of all, Tom Brady's last two so called clunkers were against a Houston Texans defense this year, where. He, he played well. He threw two picks. One wasn't his fault. And um, they're the number one defense in the NFL. Then the AFC Championship, they last year, his other clunker. Uh, he had no offensive line, and he was playing the best defense in the NFL that year. Maybe one of the best defenses in NFL history that led the Denver Broncos to a Super Bowl title. So, yeah. Obviously, a quarterback is going to have a tough time against two defenses. I don't care how good you are. Brady would struggle against them. Rodgers would struggle against them. Roethlisberger would struggle against them. They're all going to struggle against them. Those are elite defenses. All good teams. And the Patriots still beat the Texans by 18, by the way. So then, his argument is that Garoppolo is the best known quantity, I believe he described him, as football can currently give you. That is so false. So false. 
Garoppolo we've seen play six quarters of professional football as a starter. Six quarters. A game and a half. He played a suspect Arizona Cardinals team that was supposed to be a Super Bowl contender. Turned out to be a Super Bowl pretender. And played against the Miami Dolphins team who, yes, made the playoffs, but it sure as hell wasn't on their defense. And then, speaking of that, let's look up uh, total because the Dolphins are at the bottom and he states that the Patriots have a bad statist uh, has a have a bad defense but their defense isn't great I, I'm a Patriots fan I, I can admit that their defense is just, just okay all right so um, I don't want the postseason I want the regular season okay go yeah. Total yards per game, Houston Texans are number one, like I had stated. In total yards per game, the Miami Dolphins rank 29th. 29th. And the Arizona Cardinals do rank second, but that was... Um, th this is the first game of the year. The Cardinals actually, they did play decently well down the stretch ish if you want to say that but that first game they they didn't show up so that's that's not Garoppolo's fault anyway the Patriots rank eighth on this list in total yards per game and uh what is this total points per game oh no time of possession where are points total points total points the New England Patriots are first so they allow the least points. They allow the least points this season, 250. Okay. They allow the least points per game, obviously, um, as a result for that. What is this? And then, um, where's turnover? Uh, turnovers. 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 Uh, we'll do interceptions for now, I guess. And this year in interceptions, they ranked... Where are they on this list? They ranked middle of the pack. And they also have they also have fumble recoveries, too, I believe, right? Yes. All right, so here here's what I wanted. The Patriots this season have... 13 interceptions... 16 forced fumbles and 10 fumble recoveries and as a defense they've they've had three safeties as well which may lead the nfl yeah it does so the pats defense without collins and jones is still fine um <clears throat> and the other point that he made is that they need to move on from tom brady and let him go to uh, another team to give garoppolo the the floor to in the sense make this Garoppolo's city and I know Belichick is not known for holding on to players too long um, he let Welker go when his time was up Seymour um, Asante Samuel he's ahead of the curve Belichick knows his shit there's no, nobody's doubting that but Tom Brady's different you don't just I don't it's like the Peyton Manning thing in Indianapolis. I don't think Peyton Manning moves on from Indianapolis if he doesn't need three neck surgeries, you know? And Tom Brady's been a relatively healthy guy. So, I, I don't see how Tom Brady's playing for his job. I think that's way, way too far to think of. Uh, that's putting way too much thought into it. Um... But maybe, maybe you guys think I'm wrong, so comment down below what you think. But I think that if if he throws a clunker against the Steelers, which I, I don't see happening, I think it's going to be a great game, um, that, that Brady should, should lose his job. Uh, so, yeah, like and subscribe. Comment down below what you think about that. But I just I don't think it's realistic to think that Tom Brady's playing for his job this weekend. So, yeah, thanks for watching.